Hi everybody, this is our second SketchUp draw. I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of what we're going to make. It's a house that is 20 feet wide by 35 feet long. And uh, you're going to have to draw the soffit and the roof line. It's going to be a new thing to do today. And we'll do the windows and the doors another time. So I hope you have fun. the menu file and choose new and you should see window pop up okay nothing's working there it is so we need to name this and if you click on that untitled at the top you can rename this dr2 and you can put your name on it Alright, and click OK. And this is gonna if you be you can be patient, it will open up your Google Drive, which you want to select your SketchUp drawing folder that you made and click on select. Alright, and this is our new drawing, and you can see that it's saved. So we're gonna get rid of Temple Grandin. Sorry, I got a problem with my email here. And we're going to hit delete. And this is going to be uh, a house that is 20 feet wide by 35 feet long. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And I'm going to go on here and drag this out. And I'm going to type in 20 apostrophe for 20 feet and then comma. 35 apostrophe. You can see that at the bottom in the dimension area. And then I'm going to hit enter. So apostrophe is feet in carpenter's terms. And quotation is inches. One line is feet and two line are inches. Okay, there's the shape of our house, the floor plan shape, and what we're going to do is we're going to push that up with the push-pull tool. And to do that we're going to click on the surface and drag it up a little bit and we're going to type in 7 foot, that's one apostrophe, 6 inches quotation and hit enter. That's kind of standard uh, ceiling height so we'll go with that. So now we have the outside of our house, and the next thing I'd like to do is make it hollow. So I am going to pan down so I can see the top of the rectangle. And I'm going to choose the move tool or the push pull tool to offset. And I'm going to click on the top of this once and type in six inches and hit enter. And you will notice that now there's a square inside of a square here and you can get rid of that inside square I believe by hitting delete and it will put a floor in there which I don't think is going to be a problem in the shed drawing we pushed that down with the push tool to the bottom edge let's try this like this and see how it goes it's a new thing for me all right now that you've got your outside walls uh, done and it's hollowed out what we're going to do is do the roof next. We're not going to do the windows and door this time. So I'm going to go back to my orbit tool and I'm going to orbit around and I got to get used to this mouse. So I want to get so I'm looking straight at the end of this. So you'll notice that my axis lines are straight here. And I'm going to choose my pan tool to slide this over a little bit if I can get on that. This thing gets in the way. I guess, uh, yeah, there. So that's that's looking straight at the house. And what you don't want to have is any of the other lines show up because you're going to do some grabbing here. And you don't want to grab another part of the house. You just want to work straight onto this end. So this is a new uh, tool that we haven't done yet. And it's the line tool. It's shaped like a pencil. This would be for freehand drawing. And this is for straight lines. So uh, we're going to draw the soffit. A soffit is an overhanging part of the house. And you have that on your house so that the rainwater doesn't come down the roof 
and down the walls and uh, it would hit the tops of the windowsills and the doorways and be on the siding and your the sides of your house would rot so we did we like to have an overhang around our house keeps the water away from the foundation so to do that we're going to use the line tool and we're going to come down on the top corner of the end of the house and we're going to drag a line out to the left straight out and we're going to type in six inches and hit enter oh wait i don't want that i want 12 inches 12 inches and hit enter all right and now we can go up and we're going to go up six inches quotation mark and hit enter okay now we need to find the center of the house so we're going to drag our tool along the wall until we see the midpoint and there it is and once you grab the midpoint you don't click on it you just drag your line straight up to whatever pitch you want your roof to be there we go again sorry all right i'm going to hit the escape tool to uh, get away from get out of the pencil and all we're going to do now is draw the same thing on the other side and connect it so we go with the line tool out this way 12 inches and now you'll notice when I go up it automatically finds that point on the other side so you don't have to do the six inches and you come up to the top and you connect it and there you go now you have the shape of your roof and what I want to do is rotate around to the other side so I'm going to use the orbit tool and rotate this around zoom in a, out a little bit so I can see this and I want to be able to see the whole shape of the the house and do the pan tool and let's see if I can get on the pan tool this little camera thing's in the way and bring it over here a little bit okay we did this on the shed so you're familiar with this but what we're going to do a little differently this time this is the offset tool we're going to change it to the push-pull tool and sometimes I call it the pizza box we're gonna click on the shape that we just made and we're gonna drag it over and we're looking for this to attach see how that is attaching to the midpoint on the outside of the wall or you can do the edge with the red box but we want that to line up with the outside wall and we're gonna click that good so far so good now you're gonna see we have our soffit on the sides of the house but we don't have it on the end of the house and we don't want to overhang this whole triangle so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this with the orbit tool so we're looking directly at the end of the house and i'm going to move it over here a little bit with a pan tool and then orbit it again there's probably faster ways of doing this and let's see if i can zoom out a little bit so you can see this better all right yeah all right so what i need to do now is i need to draw some more lines to give us a roof line so i'm going to choose the line tool and if you watch closely i'm going to grab this lower corner this is called the fascia here and i'm going to bring that line up to the peak and i'm not going to click i'm just going to grab it and then i'm going to come down until my line looks parallel and I'm not, you know, I'm kind of freewheeling this, so I don't know for sure if it's parallel, but it looks like it is. And that's what I'm looking for from you. I don't want it to look obviously wrong. And now I'm going to bring it down to here and click it. And now I've got the shape of my roof line. So having the orbit tool, I, I like to look at this from the side when I do it. I'm going to choose the push-pull tool. And we're going to grab this shape and pull it out a little bit and type in 12 inches. There you go. Now we got the overhang for that side and rotating around to this side. We do the same thing. We start with the drawing tool, go from there to there, come down parallel, and then come down to this point. There's our roof line. Rotate around to the side a little bit. Do the push pull on this. Pull it out a little bit and type in 12. Ah, uh, hang on. 
type in 12 inches and hit enter all right there you go this is what I'm looking for for as part of this lesson uh, we're going to learn how to do windows as components next and I don't want to start that yet so if you have your house looking like that look up here for your name of your file and click the save button and wait for it to say saved and now you're done voila don't forget to pound that subscribe button. and I look forward to seeing you in school buenos tacos